Okay, in this video we're going to create a custom cursor for our game. We're just going to use a, a crosshair so it actually looks right in there. So let's go back to Unity. And uh, the one thing I was thinking we might have to do some play testing later is the speed of the mouse. Because on the original game you couldn't move as fast as you can move a, a mouse here. So I don't know if that'll impact, but I, I think if we just make the missiles a bit faster then it won't really matter. But if not, we can find some way to, to slow down the mo mouse cursor. But we'll leave that for later after some play tests and we'll know if that's the case. So yeah, to get started here, we just got to go to our sprites folder. And actually, I forgot to move these to the regular sprites folder of stuff we've used. So let's move the cursor there. And on the cursor, the texture type up here, you have to set this to cursor. So by default in 2D, it'll be set to a Sprite 2D. So just make sure it's on cursor and then apply that. And then just gonna add the script onto them. I'm gonna go with the, the camera, I'll just put it on there and just gonna call it cursor controller. I already have it in here because I was recording a video and then Unity crashed and, or not Unity, Visual Studio crashed. So I had to, clear it to start over so I'm just going to call it the same thing we'll go cursor controller and let's open that in Visual Studio okay so first thing we got to do is we got to get our texture so I'm just going to serialize this if you don't know what serialized field is it just takes so you can use a, a private variable and have it show in the inspector so you can actually uh, just click and drag something in. So we need a texture 2D. And I'm just gonna call this uh, uh, cursor texture. So I don't think we'll need any other cursor, so just cursor texture will be good. And before we forget, let's go to Unity. We'll let it recompile. And let's go to our sprites and we'll drag in our cursor. Okay, so now that we have that, we're gonna we're gonna go in here and we're gonna actually set it. So what you gotta use is cursor dot set cursor, and it takes a few arguments here. So the first thing we need is the cursor texture, which we already have, and then it needs a cursor hotspot. You know what? Let's create that first because we'll need it. Uh, so this is just a vector two. And what are we? Let's just call it cursor hotspot. Oops. You know, we can make this in start. We'll do cursor, oops, cursor hotspot. We'll do a new vector two. Okay, and the way this works is basically the hotspot is going to be the part of the texture where the click actually happens. Um, I don't. Think there's a default i think you have to put it in so usually a lot of people just use like vector 2.0 um, which 00 would be the top left corner of it and then you can you can basically go with the the pixel count using the height and width to determine where you want it so we want it right in the middle uh, so easiest way i can think of we'll use our cursor texture and we'll divide it by two and then we'll do the same thing with the height. Cursor texture dot. Oops, whoops. That needs to be dot width. So this will take the width and the height of the texture, divide it by two, which will be right in the middle. So now that we have that, we can use this. And the next thing it needs is the hotspot. So that's going to be a cursor hotspot. And then the last thing it needs is the cursor mode. So uh, we just want this set to auto. So you have different modes you can set here, like you can uh, disable it and stuff like that. So auto is basically just the, the general one. So if we have that, let's go and give this a try and see if it's working. And if you've never used any of that stuff before, if you just pull it up in the Unity documents, it, it has everything right in there. Okay, so now we got a crosshair for our cursor. So that should be all we need right now. Uh, next video, 
Not too sure what we're going at yet, but I think we'll start working on... Uh, after I play around, I'll see if I want to slow it down at all, but I think it actually feels pretty fine right now. So I think we'll go with that. So uh, next video, we'll probably start working on actually instantiating something when we make a mouse click.